Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel for a Spurs versus Chelsea match preview. We go back to the new White Hart Lane, the place where we went last season in the Premier League, got a lovely 2-0 win. It's the Carabao Cup. It is weird season in football right now where Spurs are playing like four flipping matches in a week or something daft. Jose Mourinho's press conference was one of the most interesting things I've ever seen. Chelsea, after playing on Saturday, go into this one probably with a lot more optimism than Spurs, according to Mourinho's comments. But without any further ado, love to ask you guys to subscribe to the George Benson Football Channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you for 160,000 subscribers. If you do enjoy this video, remember to hit the like button if we can hit 6,000 likes before the game kicks off tonight. Then I'm a very happy man. But let's take a little look at the two press conferences, starting off with Spurs. Jose Mourinho was obviously asked a lot of questions about the massive matches that Spurs are having to play. They're in Europa League qualifiers as well, so they've had extra games that wouldn't necessarily have been there if they didn't finish so low down in the Premier League table last season. So it is what it is. They've only got themselves to blame but Tottenham have played so many matches and there's already injuries starting to creep in and Mourinho's basically said that it's impossible for his team to compete for this competition what that tells me is that Mourinho is going to field a lot of changes because he considers Thursday's match in the Europa League as a far more important match than this one tonight against the rivals Chelsea in the Carabao Cup so that bodes very well for a Chelsea side that have a very big squad with lots of players that can come in to be called upon in order to do a job for Chelsea to go out and get the win. In Frank Lampard's press conference, we found out that both Hakim Ziyech and Christian Pulisic are still in the recovery phase of their recovery. So neither of which will be playing tonight, but Edouard Mendy will be in the squad, as will Ben Chilwell, who missed out the game at West Bromwich Albion, and we saw one of the worst Marcus Alonso performances of his time at Chelsea, and it also resulted in a half-time substitution where Alonso thought it'd be a great idea to not even watch the rest of the match on the Chelsea bench, go to the team bus to watch the game and Frank Lampard supposedly gave the man a dressing down in the dressing room in front of all of his teammates, which I think is absolutely justified and necessary. Marcus Alonso knows that Ben Chilwell's come in. He probably is aware that Ben Chilwell immediately goes to be the number one. Emerson played in the game against Barnsley last week, looked good as well, and you feel as though Alonso's attitude is a bit like, well, you know what, I'm getting paid good money. If I don't really want to play, then do I really need to show up for the team, which I think is an absolutely ridiculous attitude to have and I wouldn't be surprised if Marcus Alonso never plays again for Chelsea. You guys said when I gave him a red box in yesterday's Six Things We Learned video, if you haven't seen that yet, go and check it out. You guys said that I'll probably be calling Alonso's praises for this game against Spurs because we know he always likes a game against Tottenham, but definitely not. I don't like that kind of attitude from a player. If you're substituted, you don't go off and sit in the flipping bus and twiddle with your thumbs on your phone. You go and sit on the bench with the rest of the Chelsea players and you support the rest of the squad and your teammates. So it's not good enough for me. Marcus Alonso will not be featuring in this game. But without any further ado, we're going to build the side and see who does start tonight for Chelsea to hopefully get us through to the quarterfinals. Is it? A yeah, blimey. There's not very many rounds in this one. So we start off with the goalkeeper. And I do believe that there will be a debut tonight given to Edouard Mendy. It's the perfect game to give him the opportunity. It's a big game that he's definitely going to be up for. Of course, it's his Chelsea debut. It's in a big stadium. It's an exciting match for between two London rivals. Chelsea's biggest rivals, in my opinion. And Edouard Mendy's been training. We've seen the club have started posting videos and photos of him on Instagram. And he seems to be integrated very well according to our manager Frank Lampard so I think Mendy will be the starting goalkeeper tonight. We move into the right back position and it's the captain Azpilicueta. He came on and made a big difference to Chelsea's attitude in the game against West Brom at the weekend. We saw that very big fight back in the second half from Chelsea and as P, even though Reese James is starting most of the matches at right back now, it wasn't the best offensive display from Reese on Saturday night. But as Pilaqueta, I feel as though he's going to start this game. Chelsea, I think, will look at the opportunity with Spurs probably making a lot of changes and the amount of matches they've got coming up this week. Chelsea will look at this one as another opportunity to field a strong squad to keep giving players minutes, to keep the players that we've just brought in playing together, getting used to playing together. 
And I think Azpilicueta will be that experience that Chelsea field in this starting 11. We move into a centre-back pairing of Kurt Zuma, who's back in training. And I think if he's back in training, he'll start this game and we could see Silva come off the bench or Christensen. We could see Christensen alongside Fikayo Tomori, but I think if Zuma's fit, I think he'll come back into the team. I think Zuma and Tomori is a partnership we could see a lot more of over the upcoming years and throughout the rest of this season for Chelsea if Thiago Silva isn't fit enough to keep playing minutes, which I know, of course, we expect him to be fit, otherwise we wouldn't have bothered signing him. Zuma alongside Tomori is my pairing today. The left-back, Ben Chilwell, is back in the squad. We saw him get minutes in the game against Barnsley, and if he's ready and fit for this one, it's, again, a perfect match for him to come in, get some minutes to regain match fitness. Emerson could come off the bench. I think Ben Chilwell, we've seen the videos of him in training. If you've seen the one where he's pinging balls into the top corner, I'm very excited for Ben Chilwell's future at Chelsea. I think he can offer us a lot going forward. I think he'll continue to develop as a defender, playing under our new defensive coaches and playing alongside experienced centre-halves on the back line for Chelsea. Ben Chilwell, to get his first start away at Spurs, sounds like a lovely opportunity. So we move into the central defensive midfield position and I've gone with like a 4-1, 4-1 formation for this one with N'Golo Kante playing solo in front of the defence. I know it's the Carabao Cup. We've got matches coming up at the weekend. We've got Crystal Palace in the early kickoff on Saturday. So Frank Lampard may look to somebody else to field in this position. But N'Golo Kante, I think it was made a very good start to the season. I think he's going to come in, start this one in front of the defenders, and then we move into a midfield four. We're going to start off with the two central midfielders, and I've given a rest to Mason Mount, who I thought was probably our best player in that second half of the game against West Brom at the weekend. I've gone with a partnership of both Kai Havertz and Ross Barkley. We saw Havertz score a hat-trick a week ago. We saw him get another assist at the weekend. I think he's really starting to develop already four goals and assists in his opening four matches in a Chelsea shirt. We can't really complain about that for a young player who's come in for big money and he's already delivering the goods. Ross Barkley, we saw him get on the score sheet as well in the 6-0 demolition of Barnsley last week. And I think he'll get minutes in this game again. I think we've seen that Ross Barkley is probably not going to be a regular starter, but he is very, very useful to have for these kind of matches where... Chelsea want to be competing in all competitions. We want to go as far as we possibly can in the Carabao Cup without giving too many injuries to players to be able to weaken our squad for the weekend games in the bigger matches in the Premier League. It is Spurs away, and the team that I've picked, I definitely feel is going to be strong enough to go there and get the three points, no matter what team Tottenham actually decide to field under Mourinho. So those guys are in the centre. We move over to the right wing, and it's Callum Hudson-Odoi. Again, I thought he did very well in that game against West Brom. Came off the bench, he changed the game, he had that lovely goal that he scored with the 1-2 with Kai Havertz. We can see that link up again. That goal that he scored could be massive for his confidence, and if he's given the start tonight, yes, it's Carabao Cup. It's still a game we want to win. It's against Spurs. You always want to beat Spurs, and after the game, if we do win, I'll be very, very happy in the six things we learned video that I will definitely try and get out earlier this time. I do apologize for that. Callum Hudson-Odoi starts on the right. And again, I think we might see Timo Werner start on the left-hand side. It's important for him, even though he's played very well, in my opinion, in the opening three matches of his Chelsea career. I think he's done very well, but he still hasn't got that goal. The longer that develops the more likely it is that we could see some nerves coming into his game where he starts trying things that he wouldn't normally do just to try and get rid of that record of not scoring. So I think this kind of match against Spurs, if he scores his first goal in a Chelsea shirt against Tottenham Hotspur, he's going to be absolutely loving life and laughing. So Timo Werner starts on the left and I've gone with Tammy Abraham up front. I thought he was brilliant last week against Barnsley and he obviously got that late goal in the match at West Brom at the weekend too. And I think the more we can see both Tammy and Timo in the starting eleven the better it's going to be for Tammy's confidence. We know that Timo Werner's come in and Tammy didn't start the first couple of matches. He got that goal against West Brom that will be massive for his confidence. Olivier Giroud, I know it's again kind of like he becomes the forgotten man with the signing of Timo Werner. Olivier Giroud also scored in the game against Barnsley last week, but he is a little bit older. Tammy, he's the number nine at Chelsea, still very young, and I think this game could be a big one for him against Spurs. I think we can see Olivier Giroud come off the bench. It's always good with Olivier Giroud, because if something isn't working, you can completely change the dynamic and the approach that Chelsea have to the game, because Olivier Giroud offers so much as the target man up front. So, that is my my Chelsea starting 11. The bench, we could see a couple of youngsters. 
We could see a couple of other players in there. I've just put seven on the bench for right now. And this is a game where Chelsea really do want to go for the win. Spurs, doesn't matter if it's a friendly, even though we never play Spurs really in friendlies. I can't remember the last time we did. Carabao Cup, it's an opportunity to get into the last state of a competition that we always try to win. Frank Lampard looking for his first trophy as Chelsea manager, and it could come if we can progress tonight and start to build upon the squad that we've currently got in this Chelsea field. If we get through tonight, we get through to the quarterfinals, Chelsea get closer to a final, and Frank Lampard gets closer to his first trophy as Chelsea manager. So, I want to know what you guys have to say. Are you excited for the game tonight? I'm pretty sure we're all going to be excited for the game tonight. It's bloody Spurs away. Let me know your starting 11 in the comments down below. Let me know the players that you think deserve minutes. Will we see a debut for Edouard Mendy and a first start for Ben Chilwell? Let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments down below. Subscribe to GBFC if you're new around here and haven't done so already. And I'll try and get six things we learn out as soon as I can after the match. It will certainly be quicker than the West Brom one. It was just a busy weekend. So go and check that video out yet if you haven't seen it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.